Please welcome Supermicro's Director of Technology Enablement, R.T. Huang. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is R.T. Huang, and I am an active contributor to the Cooling Environment Work Group on Emerging TCO and the director at the Supermicro. Over the past three years, I've been dedicated to improving pivotal aspects of calculating the total cost of ownership of liquid-cooled IT equipment. As new coolants, methods, technologies, and cooling solutions emerge, I have had the opportunity to work with other TCO experts and enhance this OCP TCO model, making it as accurate and comprehensive as possible. TCO stands for Total Cost of Ownership. Why is TCO tool important? Well, we all expect to save money to enable data centers to be built and rebuilt within power constraints and to reduce water and electricity consumption based on data center location. Not all locations are equally attractive for data center deployment. The OCP work group's vision is that the TCO tool should be open, peer-reviewed, and industry platform that, that models CAPEX, OPEX, and sensitivities across a broad range of data center power and cooling options. It should obtain widespread adoption and provide immediate assistance in guiding customers to more informed decision making. The industry has a wide range of TCO tools, but many are proprietary bread boxes. I'm a, I'm a former editor and the primary author of the Green Green Virgin 3 and Virgin 4 liquid cooling TCO calculator. At OCP, openness is, is fundamental in collaboration, software, and methodology. We aim to create a transparent tool that lets users understand the calculations, compare configurations, using benchmark reference design and allow vendors to provide data for fair assessment. The tool is the product of the co-chairs Andy Young at the Aspiritus and uh, Eddie Royman at Microsoft. Together with other contributors, we envision the tool that supports a trusted advisor where the IT providers tech vendors, facility teams, or manufacturers to guide smarter decisions. It's not about giving exact data among, but offering directional insights. We want this tool to be useful, highlighting key trade-offs and helping users design air, direct-to-chip, emergent, hybrid, or whatever is coming next. My agenda includes two main sections, model overview and model formalization. Here is our current state of TCO development in OCP, complete, ongoing, and not started. I would like to walk through the ongoing items. Trigger COP seasonal variation, airport reference locations for environment zone, technical reference documentation. Also, those gap items need support from outside the work group both other OCP groups and the collaborators who can work within an open environment. Essentially, the model solves a set of energy conservation equations for the facility, accounting for the performance and efficiency of each process and sub-processes contained within. There are 66 equations being solved simultaneously. This is the reference architecture with power, the green arrows from utility connections for critical power and mechanical power, a set of up to four data rooms, the, including the red arrows, flows via two pathways, heat retention units, HRU, for low temperature and high temperature chilled water. This table shows the purpose of each cell in worksheets along with color reference. The critical power has two power outlets, one from the main switchboard and one from the UPS. The output from the UPS is for air cooling, known as CREF. 
The output from UPS is for critical equipment such as servers and CDUs. The UPS outlet is reported for L1 PUE assessment. The mechanical power has a single outlet from the switchboard and the fixed HRUs, compressors, fan sets, and economizers. Power equipment is selected based on critical and mechanical power configurations. There are two HRUs, one with a low temperature set point for air cooled IT equipment and another with a high temperature set point for liquid cooled IT equipment. Each HRU has two power inlets, one from critical power and fits the pump set for water circulation, and one from mechanical power to fit the compressors, fan sets, and free coolers. Cooling equipment is selected based on air and liquid cooling configurations. Each data center can contain up to four data rooms, and each data room can contain up to four types of clusters with CREP for air-cooled and CTUs for liquid-cooled equipment. Each cluster may include up to three rack types. The PDU output is reported for L2 PUE assessment. Each rack may include up to three chase types. The rack PDU output is reported for L3 PUE assessment. Each chase models capacitor scaling and separates node power from internal overheads. The power input to the nodes is reported for L4 PUE assessment. The model includes a flexible and open equipment library. It covers everything from cheaters and dry coolers to tanks, racks, and servers, while it includes public temperate data. Vendors can also contribute their data for use in private version of the model. For example, you can select a UPS from a pull-down menu. The associate library entry includes performance metrics, capital costs, efficiency, flow space, and so forth. Each configuration is stored as a worksheet. You can create multiple configurations and compare them side by side. The tool outputs key efficiency metrics from the scenarios model, the peak and average PUE, energy reuse factor, water use efficiency, CUE, workload density. Also, key financial metrics of the scenarios model, capex, opex, amortization payment, capex per watt of workload. In addition, it breaks down resource re usage, such as power, cooling, and flow space. Furthermore, the tool offers a detailed financial breakdown. It shows how equipment and building costs contribute to capex and how resource overheads contribute to OPEX. Snyder Electric has supported this effort by providing two baseline designs. This is a comparison with reference design RD65 in 2018 which is an air-cooled greenfield data center with a rack density of 6 kilowatt per rack, homogeneous setup. Here are the IT deployment and facility power block diagrams. For this benchmark comparison, three locations representing different actuary climate zones were selected. Typical meteorological year TMY dry bulb temperature data were used to estimate the annual proportion of economization hours for low temperature heat rejection unit based on a critical threshold of 10 degrees C. For example, low temperature heat rejection unit economization is active for 1% of the year in Miami compared to 39% in St. Louis and 54% in Montreal. The model closely matches Snyder's reported values, PUE within 3% and flow space within 7% overall, within 2% for IT space. There were no CAPEX or OPEX values published in Snyder's reports, so financial results here are for reference only. Still, it's a strong validation of the model's underlying structure.
Currently, we rely on HRA environmental zones, which comprise 19 distinct climate zones. However, this approach lacks sufficient granularity. Treater and economizer performance can vary significantly even within the same climate zone. To improve the accuracy of mechanical energy modeling, we plan to compile climate data from all airport weather stations, as these locations consistently maintain meteorological monitoring equipment. Users are, will be able to select the nearest airport to simulate conditions of a specific data center location. It is recognized that among all four mechanical energies, compressors, pumps, fans, and hydrogen units, compressor energy accounts for the largest ratio in overall mechanical energy. So it makes sense to have elaborated treated energy calculation with dynamic COP, which is subject to climate data and the data room set point temperatures. This QR code links to the OCP cooling environment grocery, harmonized the codes, reserved colors, and terms curated by OCP subject matter experts. So the TCO model is openly unambiguous in its definitions, calculations, and the results. Finally, we encourage you to download the model and join the work group. You can scan the QR codes for assistance on this model, contact with your name, virtual you are running, and cross streets. You can email to tco at ocproject.net. We will monitor this and get back to you. Thank you for your time, and if you expect further discussions, I may be available at the Supermicro booth, booth number G11. Thank you.